I'm Nadine Ness. I'm a retired RCMP officer, a mother of three, a wife of a doctor, and president of Unified Grassroots. Unified Grassroots is a not-for-profit organization that's come together in the last few months to bring unity and spread love throughout the communities in Saskatchewan. It's more important now than ever, especially during the holidays, that we work on bringing people together and, and fighting against the division and hate that's spreading across the province and across the country. One of the message that we've been spreading throughout the province is this fight against this narrative that's being spread through the media, as well as government officials, that you should be excluding the unvaccinated during the holidays. It's a message that's very divisive and full of hate and not love and not bringing people together. So one of our mission, I guess, is to, to fight that misconception that you're somehow in more danger if you, you come together with your family, whether they're vaccinated or not. I think it's clear that we know now that the virus can spread whether you're fully vaccinated or not. We're seeing those numbers in Ontario, we're seeing them in BC, we're even seeing them in Saskatchewan. Is it justified? Is excluding your loved ones really justified? It's clear that the message that we've been sending out is really starting to get to people. You're seeing a different direction within the provincial government as well. You're starting to see it also with federal MPs starting to speak out, which is a good direction. That's the direction we want to go. Now we ask ourselves, what's the next step? Where is the line that Canadians feel will be too far gone? Where's your line? Is it the vaccine passport? Is it the mask? Is it the unlimited boosters that might become mandated at one point? Where is the line where you say enough is enough? Where is the line that where you start standing up for what's not right? Are you okay with the direction the province, the country is going? Are you okay with people being segregated, with a two-tier society? Are you okay with your neighbor, or your friend, having to go to a restaurant and eating their takeout food, a box sitting in a car in the parking lot? Are you okay with families being completely divided across the border that can't even see each other, fathers, mothers who can't even see their children? Not everyone has the luxury of living in the same town, in the same community. Are you okay with families not seeing each other for years upon years? Like, where is your line? Where is it that you say, enough's enough? Christmas is supposed to be a time of joy and a time of, of fun and, and coming together. But for many Canadians, that's not the case. There are thousands upon thousands of people losing their jobs right now for a very personal medical decision that they've made. Since when has this ever been right in Canada? Does Canadians honestly believe that it's okay and fair that people lose their job because they, they don't want to take this vaccine? There seems to be this demonization of the unvaccinated and, and as to their reasons for not getting vaccinated. And we seem to to dehumanize them and say, oh, they're just selfish. They don't care about anyone else. And that's not what I'm witnessing and hearing from stories out there in the public. Some of those stories are really heart-wrenching. I'll give you an example. There's this woman who her mother and her mother's brother had the vaccine and both had blood clots almost killing them. And it just so happens this lady has the same genetic disorder that her mother has. So when she thinks about taking the vaccine, she sees what happened to her mother and her uncle. Now, do you think it's fair that we should exclude her from society? She honestly fear she might die from taking this vaccine. When are we going to realize that the vaccine is not the solution we all hoped it would be? When are we going to realize that the information we were told wasn't what it actually is? They're talking about boosters now. They're talking about it only lasting three months. Are we ready to take boosters every three months? 
Are we ready to take the risk that comes with those boosters every three months? You're starting to notice that the tides are changing. People are not okay with what's happening right now. They're, they're starting to get tired. They're starting to get annoyed with some of the what's happening within the federal and provincial governments as well. Just a few years ago, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was willing to break ethical rules to save SNC-Lavalin Canadian jobs. Yet, just now, a few years later, he's willing to break ethical rules to destroy Canadian jobs. Not only Canadian jobs, but the rights and freedoms of Canadians. I have a message from members of Parliament across Canada. People in your communities are looking for you to lead. They're looking for you to have courage and start standing strong by your convictions and your values and morals. Staying silent is not the answer. That's not what the people in your community wants. You're starting to see more and more members of parliament speak up and it, it's encouraging and it, it gives us a little bit of hope, but there's many of you who still haven't. I know for a fact that many across Canada are not okay with the direction this country is going. They're not okay with what the Trudeau government is doing. Right now, before it gets worse, it's this time where you need to start standing up and speaking against what's happening. The longer you stay silent, the more tyrannical the Liberal government is getting. Canadians deserve better than that. It's become obvious that this isn't about safety. It's about government control and punishing political opposition. What are you afraid of, Justin Trudeau? Are you afraid that your political opposition is gonna get bigger? Like, what are you trying to accomplish here? The, the more restric restrictions you put on, the more tyrannical you get, the more Canadians grow to be against what you're wanting to accomplish. I think you've severely underestimated Canadians. People are starting to wake up. That's why our movement, Unified Grassroots, has grown up to 14,000 people. 4,000 of those just in the last few weeks. We're getting people reaching out to us from all across Canada. People are getting desperate. You have to realize, if you keep going the way you're going, you're going to create a group of society that have nothing to lose. That can be a very dangerous thing to have nothing to lose. How far are you willing to take it, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau? We're seeing more restrictions, lockdowns coming to Ontario and British Columbia. Are you going to be putting lockdowns, mandates, vaccine mandates across Canada? I know you tried to get the support of the, pri the premiers in all the province and you got some kickback. But are you going to keep trying? What's the next step? When does this end? Do you realize we're coming on two years? Two years now of our country being destroyed, our Canadian way of life being destroyed? When does it end? When do we get back to being together in community? When do we get back to loving each other? coming together for Christmas or, or even just within your communities. Is it something that's never going to happen again? Like, are you guys okay with this never going back to the way it used to be? This is not who Canadians are. We are people who come together, people who are there for each other. Usually the holidays is one of the hardest time for mental health. It can be the happiest time for many, but also the hardest time for mental health. And you have more people struggling now than I've ever witnessed. I call on you Canadians to, to reach out to one another, to come together and, and to show each other compassion and love. And not this division and hate that we've seen spread across Canada in the last few months, years. That's not who we are. It's never been who we've been. And it's not too late to change the direction now. 
Unified Grassroots was created to do just that, to remind people of who they used to be and who they could be. If what I've said has touched you today and you agree with a lot of the things that I've said, I invite you to join us. You can find us on our website at unifiedgrassroots.com or on Facebook under Unified Grassroots. There are many of people that feel just the way you do. You might have felt alone, but the numbers are rising every single day. The thing is, we just don't know each other exists. I call on you to join us and to see that many in your communities are worried about the same thing you're worried about. Just know that you're not alone. Join us and we can be a stronger voice together.